Today you're gonna learn how to play the snake by witchcraft and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner doom sludge and drone metal genres. So if that is your thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. So this one is off of Witchcraft's self-titled record. Absolute masterpiece if you've never checked it out. The record is in standard tuning. For this lesson, I'm gonna be using my Epiphone BB King Loose Seal. This is a semi hollow body guitar. Magnus has always used semi hollow body guitars in Witchcraft from the very early days where he played an Epiphone 335 dot and then moved on to a Gibson ES-137 classic. So in the early days of the band, the first three records, John Hoyles was on lead guitar. He played Stratocasters for the most part. Uh, I don't have a Strat, so I'm gonna use this 65 Gibson SG Special with P90s. You'll see it in the demo section. Now at the time that this record was recorded, Magnus and John were both playing through 90s era orange OR120 overdrive amps. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. Magnus would just plug straight in and John would use an MXR uh, Distortion Plus as a boost for leads. But we're just gonna run straight into the amps. As always, you can pick up the complete tablature in Guitar Pro and PDF formats for both guitar parts and the baseline at patreon.com slash does it doom. You can grab tabs for every single lesson we've ever done on the channel, as well as some PDF guides, a lot of cool community stuff. So check it out. I've got a link down below, patreon.com slash does it doom. And with that, we're going to start out with a quick demo, then we're going to come back and break it down riff by riff. Check it. So once again, we are in E standard tuning. This song is pretty interesting when it comes to keys. The verse and chorus sections are in F sharp minor. So our root note is at this second fret on the sixth string, not a very typical place to root a song, which is kind of cool. Uh, threw me through a bit of a loop because it's not a typical key that I play in. Uh, so kind of cool in general. But then the bridge section starts in B minor rooted here at the second fret on the fifth string and modulates up to E minor at the seventh fret on the fifth string. So the first riff here, we are in F sharp minor, goes like this. Note that I've got an entire E form bar chord rooted on that second fret, so. but I'm only striking it one time. And when I do, I'm just hitting the top half of the chord, so the fourth, third, second, and first strings. 
Now on the recording they do it, but live I think they're just kind of going for it. But on the recording you can definitely hear those high strings. Magnus does sort of a hard stop there and John slides down. So that's John and Magnus. Now Magnus is part of the verse. high strings Now John's part, note-wise, is exactly the same. You're just playing up here in the upper register. So note that that riff is entirely in the natural minor scale. We've got a root, a major second, a minor third, a flat seventh, a perfect fifth, and an octave higher root. Note that I'm hitting vibrato when on those single notes. <laughs> Now the chorus section, both guitars are playing the same thing. So that one is blues scale. Uh, early in the song, only the bass does this blues scale walk down from the fifth to the flat fifth to the perfect fourth but at the end of the song, the guitars actually double it, or at least one of the guitars double it. But here we've got a perfect fourth, a minor third, and the root. Sounds really cool starting up here at that perfect fourth. enjoying this lesson, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. So now we're on to the bridge section. Again, we're going to modulate keys up to the key of B minor to start. We're rooted at the second fret on the fifth string. John's part goes like this. <laughs> Natural minor scale, you've got a root, a major second, a minor third, a perfect fifth, and a flat seventh. And then I've got Magnus just resting through that first part, and then for the last repeat, he plays it an octave higher. I'm at the ninth fret here on the fourth string. Same pattern. Live, I've actually seen them harmonize it in fifths. So same pattern, but played here. But on the record, we're just playing octaves. 
So then for the second half of the bridge, we're gonna modulate to E minor, actually playing E minor pentatonic, and it's gonna go like this. Obviously chromatic here at the end, just dropping a semitone each time. So something I've seen Magnus do live, and I included it in the playthrough, but it's not on the album, as he throws in this trill between the E and the F here. Just sounds really cool, while John just plays the typical riff, so. So just trilling. And so the intervals for this one are the root, a flat seventh, a perfect fifth, and then you've got a minor third. So just pentatonic, but then if you throw that trill in, kind of gives it a Phrygian feel. going to take a quick look at how they end the song. Back to that chorus riff. So this time, as I mentioned, the guitar does walk down that blues bass line from the perfect fifth to the flat fifth to the perfect fourth. Now live, I've seen Magnus end with this trill between the F sharp and the G, where John will just end on the power chord. So. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new weekly videos. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord tier producers. I really appreciate everything you guys do to contribute to the channel, and I really hope you're enjoying the membership. So with that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. Of course, if you want to watch another video just like this, you can click the YouTube video directly below me. And until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is yours.